Hey, what up mains? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use NS user defaults to store data into your app, even after you've closed the app, right? And we're gonna be doing this with strings, but in another video I'm posting right after this one, I'm gonna be doing it with UI colors and it's gonna be a little bit different, but yeah, go ahead and watch this and then jump right into that one and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna create a new Xcode project and I'm gonna select single view app and I'm gonna call this NS user defaults. All right, it doesn't matter what you name it. And then just hit create project. And then I'm gonna put it up here and increase my font size a bit. So you can see it. All right, view controller.swift, boost this up a bit. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is just create a button. And then when we click this button, we just wanna save some random text. So it's gonna be really quick and you're gonna learn how to save text. Now, if you're looking for a more in-depth version of uh, NS, defa NS user defaults, um, what I would suggest you do is watch this video because it's so quick and it will lay the foundation. And then watch uh, my next video on NS user defaults that's in the description below. And um, I'm gonna be making them over the course of uh, a couple weeks here. I'm going to be making a ton of NS user default videos. So yeah, just stick around for that if you want to go more in depth. But if you just want to learn the basics of NS user defaults, again, this video is exactly what you need. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a button and let's create it out of our viewed load because we're going to use it when we boot our app back up to get our data and set it into the button title. Okay. If you want to know what we're doing in this video, just skip to the end of the video and I show the, the app built. It's really quick and simple. But yeah, let's say let button is equal to UI button. And then let's go into our view did load and let's say button dot background color. And let's just say it's red just so we can see it good. And then I'm gonna say button dot set title. And we're just gonna say nothing saved. And then for control state, we'll just say normal and then we'll say button dot add target and we'll say self and then we'll say hash selector self dot tap. Okay, and we're gonna have to write this function for control event touch up inside like that. Okay, let's write our function here. Let's say at objective C funk uh, tap and let me know in the comments if I'm going too fast. I'll slow down my videos if people are saying I'm going too fast. Okay, and then we'll say in tap, we won't do anything yet. Let's just get our button on the screen still. We'll say button.frame.size is equal to CG size. And then for width, we'll just say 200 and for height, we'll say 40. And then we'll say button.center is equal to view.center. Now all we need to do is say view.add subview button. And then in tap, let's just say console, no, 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 print tapping button. Let's reload our application by recompiling it with command R or hit the play button up there. And then in a second, this will show our application here. All right, I meant to build it to the iPhone XR, not my phone. All right, now again, in the iPhone XR simulator, you can see we have a button here and, and it says nothing saved, right? When we click this button now, you see in our console, it says tapping button every time we click it. So yeah, that's how we set up our button. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to set, um, we need to actually use NS user defaults now. So we do this by saying user defaults. All right, an interface to store, an interface to the user's defaults database where you store key, value pairs persistently across launches of your app. That's exactly what we want. A little bit different than core data, but pretty similar. Object, and then we'll say for key. Well, actually we don't wanna be fetching it here. We wanna be setting it here. So we'll say standard, and then we'll say dot set, and then we'll choose value, sets the value of the specified default key. And we'll say for value, we'll just be like, this, this is it chief. And then for string, we'll say, or for key, we'll say text. You can name that whatever you want, the key part and that part too, whatever you want. And then we'll say, that's all we need there, okay? Now, this is gonna save it. When we recompile it and we hit play, or we uh, hit the button, nothing saved, it's gonna save this into our NS user defaults in 
for key text. Now, the problem is we're not seeing it on the screen because we're not actually getting it out anywhere. So what we need to do is say in view did appear, we need to say, so just type out view did appear. It's that uh, initializer right there. So right as it appears, we're gonna say, if let text is equal to user defaults dot standard dot object for key, and then we'll say text in here, right? So as long as this is the same as this, then you're good. I'm gonna call them text. And then we're gonna say as string, because we're saving it as a string. That's like a, a little, and then we put our brackets there and then we can put it into our button. And that, this is why we put our button outside of our view to load. Now we can say self dot button dot set title, and we can put text in there, and then we can say for control straight dot normal. And then if this doesn't work, we'll say else, and we'll just say self dot button dot set title, and we'll say still nothing saved. Well, we'll just say nothing saved. And then we can say for dot normal, okay? So if we reload our application now, when we hit that button and then we go back into the app, it's gonna get it. Now, you'll see that mine did it and that's because I pressed it when we had this function here, right? So that's why it saved it. So what I'm gonna do is kill the app and then if I hit play again, you're still gonna see that it says this is it, chief, even though we're setting it here in the view to load as nothing saved. So just to show you one more time, I'm gonna close the app and this time I'm gonna delete it from my phone on the simulator phone. And then I'm going to recompile the application and you'll see that it's nothing saved again. Okay, now the thing is it's that nothing saved. It's not actually this one because, well, it might be that one. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's gotta be this one because if not, it would, uh, I've changed to nothing saved when it worked. But if I say ASDF here, you're gonna see that it's not that one. And that's because when view did appear is called, it's setting it right here because we can't get anything out of the text. So we can get rid of this set title, okay? But that wasn't really what I wanted to show you. What I wanna show you here is that if I recompile it, it's gonna say nothing saved. And then if we hit it, it's gonna save it in the NS user defaults. And then you can put whatever code you want in your function you can change it to that right there if you want. Like we could we could straight up change it right here, but let me show you real quick. If I kill the app and I recompile it or just go back into it, you're gonna see that it, it's right there, right? So yeah, that's NS user defaults, very basic how to save data or a string. Now in the next video, which is in the link in the description, I'm showing you how to do it with UI colors and it's actually really interesting because it's quite different and you need to convert the UI color to data. But yeah, that's all. Please leave a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at maxcodes.io. Leave comments on what you want to see. Please tweet me at maxcodes.1 or sorry, maxcodes1. Uh, all the links are in the description for social media. But yeah, I really want to grow this account and get you more content. If uh, we can gain a following fast enough, then I can devote my full time to this endeavor. So let's go ahead and hop into the next video. See you guys later.